Welcome to the Eternity Token Migration Tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to use a Ledger Nano S to send the ERC20 Eternity Tokens to the Token Migration web application. And then on the other side, we're going to receive them uh, again on the Ledger Nano S in the Eternity app. Um, and those will be the tokens on the Eternity blockchain. So to help guide you through the process, we have prepared the landing page, which you can see on my screen. The page shows you how many tokens have been migrated so far. The steps which you need to go through to complete the migration. As well as the roadmap of all the phases which constitute our token migration process. At the bottom of the page, we have prepared answers to the most frequently asked questions. And in the footer, you have a link to our forum where you can ask uh, any additional questions which you may have. So before we uh, begin the migration itself, you want to make sure that you have installed Ledger Live on your Ledger and that you have installed the um, Eternity app on the Ledger. To do so, you connect the Ledger device to your computer. I have already done so, so I don't need to do it again. Um, and then you go in the Manager tab. Here you find the Eternity application and you hit Install. Again, I'm not doing this because I already did it, um, but you want to do that. And also we um, recommend that you have the Ledger uh, firmware um, updated to the latest version, which at the time of the recording of this tutorial is 1.5.5. You can see it on the screen here. Um, once you have the Ledger connected, um, you can proceed with the token migration. So tap on the start migration button. And then you will see the first screen of the token migration web app. Today we're going to use the Ledger wallet. So I'm going to tap get started here underneath the Ledger wallet. I'm prompted um, to make sh sure that I understand that I need to uh, install the uh, Ledger Live in the application the Eternity application in it. Uh, we just spoke about this, so um, you're going to do it. And then when you're ready, hit Start Migration. Um, on this next screen, we're um, asked to pick uh, where the account on the Eternity blockchain where you want to receive um, your tokens is. Um, or which device you're going to use to access it. In this case, we're going to use the Ledger Wallet, so I'm going to hit Read from Ledger. And the next thing I need to do is open the Ledger itself and then go inside the Eternity application. So I'm on the Ledger device, I'm um, scrolling to the Eternity application, and then I'm tapping both buttons at the same time to enter the application. Once I've done so, I'm going to hit Continue here. And I'm prompted to um, compare the address on the screen on my laptop to the address which will be rendered on the ledger device itself. So I'm hitting compare and now I need to confirm the address on the ledger device. I can see on the screen it looks like the same address so I'm going to press the right button to confirm. Okay. I have confirmed the address and the next um, step is for me to um, to add my um, MetaMask account. So what I'm going to do is click on MetaMask, select the accounts icon, and then select Connect Hardware Wallet. I'm going to um, exit the Eternity app on the Ledger device itself, scroll to the Ethereum app, and then hit both buttons at the same time on the Ledger device to go inside the Ethereum app. And here I'm going to select Ledger and hit Connect. On this next screen, I'm prompted to pick an account. Uh, I made the previous account with my Ether wallet, so I'm going to click on the drop down and select legacy my Ether wallet slash my crypto. And here I can see the accounts I've previously made in my Ether wallet. I'm going to select the first one and hit unlock. Now my ledger device is connected to MetaMask. 
and I can go back to the token migration uh, web application and select proceed with MetaMask. At this point, I'm prompted to um, authorize the token migration contract to connect to, to um, the account on the ledger through MetaMask. So I'm going to hit connect. And here I am prompted to confirm the Ethereum account uh, from which the tokens will be sent, the token contract address, um, the Eternity migration contract address, and also the address where the tokens will be received on the Eternity blockchain. So I'm going to select or type that I want to migrate 0.1 A tokens. It's like they agree to the terms of service. You should always read the terms of service. I have already done so, so I don't need to do it again. Um, I just selected the checkbox and now I am going to tap the make transaction button. Now MetaMask uh, prompts me to confirm the gas needed in ETH um, to complete the transaction. That looks good to me and I'm going to hit confirm. And now on the ledger device itself, I'm asked to confirm the transaction. I'm tapping the right button to do that. And now the transaction has been broadcast on the Ethereum blockchain and we're waiting for the uh, for confirmation on that. Meanwhile, I can go inside MetaMask and see the transaction here. Um, it's this transaction right here. And if I tapped on this link, I can view the transaction on Etherscan. Um, but the page already refreshed, so I can see also the transaction on the success screen. Um, I have in total migrated 1.45A in all of my migrations. Uh, and the last one, which we just did together, is this one on Monday, February 4th. Um, and it was for 0 0.1 A. If I um, like to save this screen, I can bookmark it or I can um, save it as a PDF. And um, I have all the information for all my migrations here. Um, this shows me not only what I've uh, what tokens I have migrated in, in this phase, but also in the previous phases. In this case, I haven't uh, migrated any to this address. Um, so this is everything I need. Um, I highly recommend that you bookmark this page. It includes um, the, um, the address to which you're sending. Um, you can also um, copy this address and then just bookmark the URL without the address. This will just um, show you uh, the page itself. And in this case, I'm getting the address pre-populated here, but if it was a new computer, I wouldn't get that. Um, and you would have to manually paste it in here and then hit check migrations. And again, this loads the same page. Um, so that's it. Uh, we successfully sent um, 0.1 a ERC20 tokens to the token migration um, contract through the token migration web app that I've set up that we've set up for you. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us at the forum link, um, which is here at, at the bottom of the landing page. Um, and if you need to access the check uh, the tool to check the migration status, you can always uh, select it here and you will um, be back at the success uh, page. Thank you. Bye.